Hey, so what is multi-chain? Multi-chain is an open source blockchain platform created to build and deploy private blockchain applications that function between organizations. Hey guys, so my name is Henry and the, in this channel, Buzz and I will be talking about blockchain project management and innovation. These are our passions. So if you like, thumbs up. Now back to uh, multi-chain. The multi-chain platform provides simple API and command line interfaces that are suitable for financial transactions. Multi-chain was built more for the financial industry. Multi-chain is built with a comprehensive set of features that includes permission management for identity and essence management and for membership management, data streams, and uh, a simple uh, per chain configuration so you can tailor made things. These high end features help enterprise applications in terms of scalability, confidentiality, integration, and compliance. Uh, multi chain can be used for regula regulated industries. As a lightweight private network, it is easy to deploy and maintain with developer friendly and flexible tools. It allows uh, the use of uh, different programming languages such as Python, C Sharp, PHP, Ruby, and JavaScript. On the network native tokens, they refer to uh, assets that can be created and transfer between stakeholders. You can transfer assets within the multi-chain blockchain. And multi-chain is an off-the-shelf platform because it mirrors some of, some of the uh, Bitcoin features by extending the Bitcoin protocol and Bitcoin core APIs, making it compatible with a vast range of tools and open source um, code builds for uh, Bitcoin including software libraries, uh, online explorers, mobile wallets, uh, and hardware security devices. Nodes on the network can uh, only require the connectivity uh, and, and there is no need for this proof of work, uh, which means that all the participating systems uh, that install the software are connected to form the multi-chain network um, from within the organizations or between different organizations sharing the same databases and transactions. So it's a permissioned blockchain where nodes don't need proof of work, they can just connect between each other and work in a permissionless way. Why multi-chain? Well, in 2014, a group of programmers decided to create a database similar to Bitcoin that is more adaptable to a regulated ecosystem. The first attempt, attempt uh, of kind of Bitcoin 2.0 was initiated by uh, Coin Sciences, a software company and project that was named uh, CoinSpark. After uh, CoinSpark project failed, Coin Sciences decided to create multi-chain as a permissionless blockchain. The creation of multi-chain was enhanced, um, was kind of to, to enhance the blockchain technology solving the Bitcoin challenges which are scalability and, and this kind of bloating problem that is not good for enterprises. Multi-chain solve is the related problems of mining costs eliminated the and, and eliminates the risk of associated to like openness through um, integrated management of user permissions and by providing the privacy controls required for an enterprise blockchain. As a private blockchain, it ensures scalability of the network by controlling the data shared uh, per block, which uh, eliminates irrelevant data and it increases the speed. It also offers organizations much, the much needed privacy uh, of that project's needs um, as uh, the, the, the data and transactions are only visible, visible for uh, the chosen participants. Although it is a fork from the Bitcoin blockchain, mining blocks uh, is way less expensive because it is done through delegation and not proof of work. It's like kind of more like delegated proof of stake. Therefore, it is more environmentally friendly 
and uh, it doesn't consume the same energy that uh, Bitcoin is consuming. Uh, the multi-chain software is compatible with financial systems and supply chain solutions because its transaction speeds and straightforward approach uh, for data storage. Now, let's talk about the multi-chain features. So it is permissioned, uh, as, I, as I said, uh, access to the multi-chain network requires a permission, which is created by the uh, network admin, usually by, uh, or by the developers, and th there are built-in tools that allow the developers to configure their own network with uh, several parameters, um, and like the consensus, the, uh, the, 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 the block size, the, the, the access permission to the network, the privacy features of the blockchain, etc. In multi-chain, uh, granting and revoking privileges is made using network transactions uh, containing special metadata. The miners, miners of the first uh, Genesis block automatically receive all the privileges, including admin rights, to manage the users, the other users' privileges. The first admin can assign mining roles to any stakeholder in the network and transfer ownership of assets and share database or stream any other uh, node on the network. Then we have the stream. This is a, a, a private shared database on the network. Streams are used for general data retrieval, timestamping, and archiving. That is, a regulated stream can store and retrieve data uh, on the blockchain. Streams are basically a collection of items, and each item contains a timestamp, a, a key for data retrieval, digital signatures, and, and uh, transactional data. Streams are created as uh, open or closed. Open streams are uh, writable and anybody who has permissions can uh, send a blockchain transaction in this stream, while closed streams are restricted to uh, a, a changeable list of permitted or permit, uh, permission addresses. Then you have assets. Uh, assets on, on the, on the multi-chain refer to uh, tokens. Multi-chain allows to creation and tracking of native assets at the uh, blockchain uh, network level. It has built-in blockchain tokens, both uh, the uh, native currency of that chain, and can also, uh, can be, which can also be used to pay transaction fees, and additional assets issue, issued on the top of the blockchain. Every uh, multi-chain node tracks and verifies the number of assets uh, and, and all the transactions. It's a peer-to-peer -peer network, so you have the peer-to-peer -peer -peer connection. Uh, it processes uh, handshaking within the multi-chain and um, peers are connected between each other. The identity of each node represents itself with a, an address with a list of permissions and therefore nodes send messages to each other and uh, in, in a peer-to-peer -peer way. Um, and 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 if if the peers respect the messages, they can they connect connect between uh, each other. If they respect the, the rules of the messages, it's it's a scalable multi-chain. Uh, it's a scalable blockchain. Also, it solves the scalability issue by using uh, dual-chain data uh, storage methods. Every piece of information published uh, to the stream can be on-chain or off-chain as desired. So unlike other blockchains where all nodes are expected to validate and start transactions, multi-chain does not replicate data to every node. So the size of the blocks is reduced by embedding uh, the hashes of large pieces of data within transactions instead of the data itself. So you have the hashes instead of the data, keeping the immutability of the data. The decryption layer for each piece of data is only shared with the participants who uh, are meant to see it. In the multi-chain, you can, you can have up to uh, 2,000 transactions per second, which is quite good. Then you have the mining. Mining is executed by a group of 
admins on the network uh, and use distributed consensus uh, between identified block validators. Uh, this avoids the uh, uh, minority uh, monopoly on the, on, the, on the chain and only a set of identified entities are able to uh, be block validators or miners. Unlike Bitcoin mining process where uh, nodes are required to solve a mathematical puzzle, uh, here any uh, permitted nodes may generate a new block uh, waiting for a random timeout like uh, something similar to uh, proof of elapsed time and in multi-chain implements this uh, scheme using um, a parameter called mining diversity which is uh, constrained by uh, zeros and ones but it's a mechanism that I'm not going to discuss in now. Uh, transaction fees and block rewards are zero by default uh, therefore miners uh, usually don't need compensation to provide their work because there is uh, another, a different incentive, a different mechanism incentive because this is supposed to be a private network where uh, the participants are, are, are supposed to have an incentive which is like to uh, connect between each other and do business between each other to connect in a business network. So, so what? Uh, Multi-chain enterprise has been advancing uh, the blockchain technology for enterprise use with scalability, high transaction speeds uh, and supporting multiple blockchains that can connect and inter interact between each other and, and piercing can connect between each other in a permissioned way. Um, it can be sum summarized that in these permissioned blockchains are uh, useful in the regulated financial industry and companies like uh, banks and insurance companies uh, are already using multi-chain blockchain especially if I'm not wrong in India it's quite popular although setting up a private blockchain is quite expensive especially at the uh, early stage um, and with multi-chain you have to configure every node uh, first before uh, having a, a transaction uh, so, despite the fact that multi-chain is regarded as one of the uh, best enterprises blockchain applications in, uh, in the market, over a hundred organizations are, are using uh, multi-chain applications for financial transactions. So, this can be like a, an interesting blockchain to explore if you are exploring uh, enterprise solutions for blockchain.